Hello there, welcome back to another episode of Strife's Talking Points where I try and make sense out of the world because it seems like the whole place is gone insane. And in today's episode, we're going to do a little bit of talk about one of the Democratic presidential candidates, Kamala Harris. Um, a person I saw on the news and I thought, you know, she had this very uh, moderate-sized um, launch in California. Uh, I actually watched the video and then I saw the pictures of it where there was a small group in front of her and they kind of had a limited support around um, most of these 20 odd Democratic people who launched their campaigns all got kind of the same small reception when they did it. But before I begin the actual breakdown of today's news or this weekend's news, I would like to say please like, share, and comment, and subscribe on the video. This is about trying to bring things out, talk about tough issues and make sense out of the way, the way the world is presenting itself to us these days. Uh, you really can't count on mainstream news sources anymore. You've got to dig deep. You've got to go through a lot of different stuff in order to find meaning in the actual substance of the arguments, discussions. Now, this is a, a brief article here from CBS. Kamala Harris raised $2 million in the first 24 hours after the debate. Uh, right now, though, I've seen her is towards the bottom of this uh i believe Buttigieg raised almost 25 million and there were a lot of other big uh gains from all these different providers and um kamala doesn't seem to be at the top of this line she seems to be more at the bottom of the bottom end however she has picked up some steam and this is some of the story I came into, which really did take me back, uh, or take put me back. I didn't couldn't believe this that was the story going on uh, from yesterday. Ali Alexander, Ali Alexander thanks Don Lemon for agreeing with him that Kamala Harris is not African American. Now, this is one of the more confusing things about how the current identity politics. Uh, world works where uh you have all these different groups um male female your sexuality your race your skin color all these different things seem to play into each other and push back uh so this is alexander's tweet kamala harris is not american black she's half indian and half jamaican and I'm so sick of people robbing American blacks like myself of our history. It's disgusting. And now is using debate time for blah, blah, blah. These are my people, not hers. Freaking disgusting. Um, his point was that Harris is not descendant of American black slaves. And my... Sorry, I had a little issue there with some noise in the house. And my question is this. Uh, what, how are you going to break down, uh, because we do have the discussion in the news today about uh, reparations, about um, how to get these things, um, how to fund it, who gets the money, how do we decide who is what. It seems like the whole idea of uh, not being black enough or not being african-american um is a is going to be a big switch here in identity politics where you'll see the whole um i believe the phrase i learned from now this is colorism where black is not enough you have to be a specific shade of black and you have to have a specific lineage in order to pick up these traits where I, I don't see an end to that because you'll have to have specific genealogy. You'll have to have tracks, tracks, markers, history, all these different things in order for you to fit into this group. Um, and here's this here. Um, let's scroll it up. Sorry. I've got the little black bar there because I've got a ton of stuff up here for some other stories I'm trying to research and work on. Uh, it's hypocrisy. CNN's Don Lemon and April Ryan have heated debate over Senator Kamala Harris's blackness. And Don Lemon there, and I've got to admit, Don Lemon was adopted. He was raised by an entirely white family, uh, the same as Colin Kaepernick. They were raised by the whitest of white families, rich, or not rich, wealthy, liberal elites who took them, raised them, helped them get where they are. And now you see them 
posting about all this oppression, all the stuff that they had to endure, when when you look into their history, there's really not a lot of it there. Uh, and here's the actual video. Is fielding questions about race. And I just want to play uh, for you what Kamala Harris said to The Breakfast Club when she was asked about how people on social media are questioning if she's African-American. Now, the uh, question of whether or not she's African-American is an odd thing because um, if you track your heritage, your ancestry, your lineage from the dawn of time, uh, she would be black. Her family would have came to Jamaica from Africa at some point in time and then you know, move to America thereafter. However, that's not the point of this. Another meme says, uh, Kamala Harris is not African-American. Her parents were immigrants from India and Jamaica, and she was raised in Canada, not the United States. Now, her mother is Indian. Her father is Jamaican. Neither of them directly came from Africa. And uh, her answer gives it where she was, uh, essentially her high school years were spent in uh, Canada. Montreal, I believe, but she was born in the U.S. She was is from Oakland. I mean, she's a California native through and through. <laughs> and it said fat. Fact. Now, fact. Her mother is Indian. Fact. Her mother, father is Jamaican. Uh -huh. That's what the meme said. So born I was in born Oakland. in Oakland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and raised in the United States, except for the years that I was in high school in Montreal, Canada. So. Four years in Canada, the rest of the time in the U.S. Me, as a U.S. citizen, she was born here, spent her formative years here, went to high school in another country, came back to the U.S. Uh, a lot of people pay to have their kids in other countries for high school so they can get a broader education, so they can get some foreign uh, knowledge. And look, this is the same thing they did to Barack. Yes. This no. Barack's... Mother and father were in Kenya. There was very little discussion, which I, as soon as I saw the basic birth certificate from Hawaii, that was the end of that. Um, there was a lot of speech about uh, birther and all that junk because it was stupid. Barack Obama was a U.S. citizen. His father was from Kenya, not a U.S. citizen. Mother was from Hawaii, U.S. citizen, born in Hawaii thereby u.s citizen she is a u.s citizen born in california raised in california high school in canada back to california again clearly u.s citizen the attacks on her are not whether or not she's a u.s citizen the attacks on her over her african-american her blackness which to me is just the dumbest attack to have on somebody but it's actually this happening is, this is not new to us and New to us, no, it is a very odd thing where you're being called out by African-Americans for not being African-American, but still being black. So I think that um, we know what they're trying to do. This is not the people on the right. This is actually coming from people on the left who are activists. I'll show you that here shortly. They're trying to do what has been happening over the last two years, which is powerful voices trying to sow hate and division among us. Mm -hmm. Powerful voices from within the community on the left attacking the community on the left because of tiny little racial identity issues, which most of us believe are insane. And so we need to recognize when we're being played. What do you make of her? No, back to them. Uh, I have no idea. This is something that just came up to me, and I've read quite a bit on this just today. and It's been very amazing to read it. That's yeah, right. And here's Don Lemon. Good for her. Um, you know, let's. there's a lot to unpack here. Number one, what does black enough mean? Can someone give me a definition of what black is, enough is? I don't want to go down the road of the stereotype. No, only within the black community will you ever hear the phrase black enough. Uh, maybe some extremist white liberals on this far end will say black enough, but they'll be using it for some type of stereotypical thing here. Um, 
I would never you've I would never hear that on a conservative radio show or anything like that because it's just not a talking point or a thought that goes through. When people say we're black, number one, she is a black woman. She's a mixed race woman. When you see her, you see her blackness, but she is also South Asian. Her mom is South Asian and her dad is Jamaican. April, she is April, a black April, woman. let me now here comes Don Lemon chiming in with his general ignorance. Let me, let me l listen. Yes. More power to her. And I think what? it's great. That is that should be enough. Listen, it is enough that she's a black woman. We are not a model. But no, 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 exactly. No, 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 no. But they, they... Don Lemon, adopted, raised by white liberals in the South, given the whitest of all white families, married to a white man, and he is the arbiter of the truth. He is the gatekeeper. That is his position. That is all he wants to do is you must agree with him otherwise you're racist they did the same no, thing no 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 i think you i think, you, I think like you're that. not you're not Go hearing ahead. what people are saying the people who are saying is she black enough that's bull that's bs he's right there and that's all you have to say right there she's not black enough no no that's bs any tiny percent black as you visually identifiable should be enough because per the intersectionality debate, that means they're oppressed. But to 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 I know want a saying. distinction to the, say is she African American, or is she black, or is she whatever? That what's there is nothing wrong with that. There is a difference. Now, if you are black, your closest family uh, lineage would have came out of Africa at some point in time, uh, making you quote unquote African lineage uh if you're white your family's european giving you some type of european lineage lineage if you're brown there's many more countries out there that are brown than europe or africa the middle east you could be native you could be all these different races but to try and strip down someone and say you can't use that phrase because you're not this you're not the descendants don lemon's going to go out on a limb here and hang himself with his own hypocrisy it's between being african-american and being black um la people la people latino people are people of color but they're not black latino people basically are spanish-speaking people who can be european meaning they're spanish meaning they're basically europeans living in south america you can go to mexico you can go to brazil you can go to argentina you can go to all these countries and those are full of latinos they're not small brown uh they're not what we see when they come across the border as you know mexicans as these poor guatemalans that is a whole separate group of people that don lemon has just decided are all latinos they're not. They're widely different groups of people that are now being pigeonholed into a specific group. I've seen lots of uh, people from Brazil, from Argentina, from Mexico, from all these, Colombia, all these various countries who are ex European. They're exactly the same because those are the groups that, you know, set up the colonies and move forward. That's the thing. He's decided that only these specific brown Spanish people are Latinos. Don Lemon, the gatekeeper to reality, just made that very well known. They're brown people. She is a okay. woman of color, but she is a black woman. Okay, that's she, fine. I agree with that. I agree with that. But now, is she African American? No, 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 no. But is she? 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 Now. If I was either one of these guys, I'd pull my mic out and get out of the chair and just leave. I would see no reason to be in this discussion, to have my picture on TV with these two yahoos going back and forth. Uh, Don Lemon, I believe, is clearly in the wrong. He's trying to say that black isn't enough. You have to be African-American. Oh, uh, she African-American. There's a difference. There's nothing wrong with that. No one is trying so to take down, anything. The intersectionality debate. There's nothing wrong with trying to take this away from her and say, you can't say that. You can't act like this uh, because Don Lemon says so. Let's go away down, from let's her. Go down into her lineage. Let's I think you're falling, I think you're you falling into, into a into trap of that. All she had to do was no, say, I am black, no, I'm but not I'm not African-American. Yeah, what 
how I, there are going to be so this intersectionality thing is going to fall apart and this is one piece of it that's it and i'm going to break off of that right there because as he said that's it now this is uh this guy ali alexander he has done quite a bit of this i believe this is his baby uh as far as breaking this out uh, i've been going through some of his tweets some of his stuff here um Uh, I said during 2017, I want to join Scott Adams says and saying that I'm a public figure who will not step one foot in Portland, not for any reason. Lawless street gangs control the streets and provided I won't come. Um, losing Julian Castral called me a racist on CNN today. That means Don Lemon is a racist. Uh, if it was my tweet that was removed, it's it is african americans who have the concern that a brown american woman is stealing our identity you see this you're the racist now i want to play this one real quick this is 35 Senator seconds Harris, uh, that it has no place in our politics uh, and this is the game that these folks play they put something out there you notice what he did he tweeted it out and then he deleted it like a coward so he can say oh that was just a mistake but he knows what he's doing he's giving voice to these racist uh and of course the feed goes down this is the hispanic the brown man calling the black man racist this is the true telling of intersectionality it doesn't work and now it won't play uh, this is the problem I think we're going to see in our country over the next year, year and a half through this election cycle, is where uh, it's going to be so specific. If a black person runs for office, and I believe out of the 2020 Democrats, only the uh, only Kamala Harris is the only uh, black person. However, she's not African American, so that will negate her validity as a candidate, um, because she's half Indian, uh, half Jamaican, and I believe um, part of her lineage is white, so it makes her like twenty-five percent black. I'm not sure. Uh, this is what I see going wrong: is you're not going to be able to have a true and honest debate on the Democratic side because of hypocrisy because of these insane standards by which people will be judged that seem to flow fully on the left um, and I don't know I just see this as a bad thing all around please let me know what you guys think comment on this video do you is someone who's black gonna well, they're already facing it. She's already getting hit by this because she's not African-American per, per se. She's just family of a Jamaican and a uh, Indian. They call it South Asian there, which now we're breaking down Asian groups and all this rest of the stuff. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Oh, there it is. Jamaican is not American, Lemon said, interrupting her again. Jamaica, Jamaica did not come out of Jim Crow, I'm just saying. Again, Don Lemon directly attacking Kamala Harris because she's not African American. She was raised by a single mother. She, her father is Jamaican. He was raised by a white family and married to a white man, and he's allowed to decide what African American is, even though I don't know that there's any standards. I don't know there should be. Anyway, let me know what you guys think and have a great day.